Hello, I'm Ismael Acosta. I will be speaking about three simple steps about using the harp and bowl model. Step one, a song that is well known by your church members. Step two, spontaneous singing, which is singing from your heart or the Bible. Step three, responsive singing, which is when singers one and two respond back and forth to the apostolic prayer given by the prayer leader. Now, we will show you a run through of steps one and two of the model, which are a known song by your church members and, and spontaneous singing. After that, the worship leader will lower the music, which is a sign for the prayer leader to come up and begin to pray. Here we go. Now, we will show you step three, which is responsive singing. Here, singers one and two will respond to the prayer focus given by the prayer leader at the end of his prayer by ending in Jesus' name, which is followed by a chorus from singer one that will also end with the name of God, like Jesus or Yahweh. Here's an example. be praying for the church and the nation out of Colossians 1, 9-12. We do not cease to pray for you 
and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Strengthen with all might, according to his glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. So Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I'm asking that you would fill the church of our nation with the knowledge of your will, that you would make us wise, God, as we read the word, as we cry out to you in prayer, Lord, would you make us wise? Father, I'm praying that you would strengthen us with might. Lord, even in the midst of suffering, God, I pray that you would make us patient. So in Jesus' name, we ask for joy-filled, patient endurance for the church and our nation. now completed step one which is a worship song step two spontaneous singing and step three responsive singing next we will show you these three steps without stopping
church and the nation out of Colossians 1, 9 through 12, we do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy giving thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we're praying, God, that you would fill us, Lord, with the perfect knowledge of your will. God, we're asking for wisdom, Lord, as we read the Bible, as we search the scriptures and pray to you, God, would you give us wisdom? God, we're asking, Lord, even in the midst, Lord, of suffering, that you would give us patience, even in the midst of trials, that you would give us joy. So in Jesus' name, we ask for joy-filled, patient endurance for the church and our nation. Father, we ask, Lord, that you would strengthen our church with might, that we would bear much fruit, God. God, we ask in every situation, Lord, in every trial, God, that you would help us to bear fruit, God, to be witnesses, Lord, wherever we go, God, to shine your light in a dark place. So in Jesus' name, we ask that you would strengthen the church and our nation with might, that we would bear much fruit.
when you're spirit red with power and mind send your spirit red send your spirit red with power and mind oh god we want to encourage you to use whatever the lord has provided you with to worship him you might not have a keyboard but you might have a guitar or a drum or even your hands. So sing to the Lord and make a joyful noise. Amen.